doing here? I where are the police? They aren't interested in a bunch of suppositions about a possible homicide committed in another city. I I'm sorry, Murph, I let you down, but don't worry. I'll be your man in the closet. Too late. Better go back to the office. Uh, it's all right. I saw Harriet the Horrible slither out. I heard that. Who said that? We'll discuss this in my office. Miss Hatwinger, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. It was a token of deep affection and deep, deep respect. You can grovel later. I gotta get a bigger place. Oh, not a peep. Oh. Mr. Murphy, I heard you were under the weather. I thought these might uh, cheer you up. Oh, feverish, too. Well, stay in bed, take lots of liquids, and get plenty of rest. That's it? I just wanted to make sure that you were all right. I know why you came. Because I'm on to the fact that you and Nino murdered Stuart Graff. <laughs> you're not only feverish, you're delirious, too. I know all about that tape bomb threat and the machine it was made on. Oh, I doubt that. Since Nino and I had absolutely nothing to do with Stuart's unfortunate demise. Some plan. Some suspect. Some crowd. Five o'clock sharp, Hartley. Harden. Good try, Murph. your surprise, Murphy. How did you know? Nina waited until you and your friend left your apartment. I wanted to make certain there was nothing about the case here. I'm going to enjoy this. In due time. Remember, we want to make it slow and agonizing. When Harden called, I knew you were trying to be clever again, so I instructed Nino to stay put. But before I could join him, there was this parade of people entering your loft. I can't help it if I'm popular. I hope they all come to your funeral. You are going to expire when 90% of all household accidents occur. In the bathroom. You already tried that once. I had a witness. <laughs> and I had three. Who heard me calmly and rationally deny any part in Stuart's death. I merely expressed interest in your safety and well-being. <laughs> You're next. Apart from anything else, you deserve to die. For what you've done to Nino and me. Before you came into our lives, we were excruciatingly happy. Now she's a suspicious nag. And he's a two-timing twerp. Obviously, you don't have a sound foundation of shared experience. Do it. Wait a minute! Huh? What do you know? The stalker's got a glass jaw. You can't prove anything. It's your word against ours. Oh, no, it's not. It's your word against you. I'm glad we could share this experience discover this mutual interest. Good to be back on track. I guess we both expected too much. Once we went to bed, everything would change instantly. Mm -hmm. All those annoying habits would magically disappear. Hard work, this relationship stuff. 